And here it is. It's called the Omni, and it includes the six Hero 4 black cameras, this metal housing you can see here, and software that's going to allow you to capture, stitch, and publish 360-degree footage. As you mentioned, John, it is going to run you about $5,000. Now, obviously, that's pretty pricey for your average consumer, but the device could make more sense for professionals like filmmakers who want to experiment with VR content. So the Omni both aligns the cameras and syncs them. In other words, the user only has to program the settings in that one primary camera. Charlie Anderson of Doherty and Company, who covers GoPro, tells me the Omni is important as a potential marketing tool. The more compelling GoPro footage that's out there, he says, the more likely consumers are going to be to buy GoPro cameras. GoPro does now join a number of tech companies looking to cash in on VR, including Facebook and Alphabet. Just yesterday, remember, Intel announced that all-in-one VR headset called Project Alloy, the Kensho Virtual Reality Index, which tracks publicly traded companies with exposure to VR is up nearly 20% this year. And GoPro itself has been on a recent tear, up more than 70% in the past three months. That's after that better than expected earnings report and ahead of new products in the pipeline like the new camera and drone. The move could also reflect a short squeeze with more than 30% of the company's stock sold short. GoPro does tell me leading filmmakers are using the Omni, so the hope for GoPro Bull is that this device leads to some cool GoPro content, which in turn could help that recent good buzz keep going. Guys, back to you. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.